I start this live, it's doing my, I'm doing my own head in. I don't know why I always say hello like that. Hello, hello. Like, what is that? That's not even how human beings say hi. Hi. How are we? I'm gonna do this. I, I just cannot see. Hi. I just thought I'd do like an OG Sunday live. I used to do them all the time. The shows and just didn't ever really do them anymore. So, hey. Oh my God, what have I just done? Oh no, it's fine. I thought I added someone by accident. I was thinking, I hope not, because I don't know who you are. It was like three years ago from Eleanor's mom. Oh God. Um, mm -mm -mm. You were supposed to be cleaning your room. Don't, it's a Sunday. It's not the day to clean your room. Hello from Germany. Guten Tag. Um, do you know what's so funny? I always get like, have you left six? Yeah, I left six like a really long time ago. <laughs> I left six on the 18th of September. <coughs> God, thank God I'm on live. Because imagine I just <coughs> choked my own plan. Um, thank you very much. It was a little gift. It's very comfy. It's very cosy. I've never seen Hades Town and don't literally know anything about it. Opinions on Jordan Brooke and WSL record. I was so proud of her. Very proud, very proud, very proud, very proud. Um, what are these things that come up? Did I watch the Brighton match yesterday? Yes, I was there. I almost was like, mm, I was there. Um, oh, I'm glad you liked your cameo. It's your birthday today. Happy birthday. How's Chris and Noah? Oh, I just, I hope they're okay, my little besties. Someone said something about George. I think it was nice. Thank you. <coughs> Why can't I swallow? Um, I honestly think that my eyes, I think my eyes in the winter are rubbish. Um, you came to the workshop. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, honestly, this I left. You left six in August, not September. I left six in August, not September. You are correct. Yeah, you're right. It was the week after my birthday. <coughs> um, I'm just having some time just now for me. I didn't. I'm not going straight into another contract like I did with headed into six. Excuse me, I just wanted some time for me, just some lifetime, because, you know, I've been lovely and very ha happily busy since 2021, but I would also like to just have some time. Gold or silver jewellery? Now, my thing is, no, I, I know Vivian, thank you. Um, I have two, no, three gold rings and one silver ring, and I don't usually mix and match, but then, do you know what, I decided. mean something so I'll always have them on. Um, I don't know what I'm doing next. I, I don't even know what I'm doing tomorrow. I don't even know what day it is tomorrow. Monday. Do I have a fella shirt? No, not yet. Where's your accent from? Scotland. Well, Glasgow, but it's not a super, super Glaswegian accent anymore because I've not lived in Glasgow for like since I was 19 and I'm 31 now, so 12 years. Thank you. Would I feel a, a confident to emergency cover? Yes. Yes. What's the 193 on my Instagram? It was balloons for Jordan because she broke the all time appearance record yesterday. Um, so I set up some a nice little thing for her to come home to. No one's 130. Someone messaged me and said, who's 137, uh, 170, 193? And I was like, no one. No one's 193. That would be impressive. Um, you've got an Aston Villa in the cup. Well, I don't know what that means, but that's great. I'm so happy that you have that. Um, I am 31. Stop it, it's 
sure I am. Favourite crisp? So many good discos. But I also do... And I had a chipstick the other day and I really forgot how much I like chipsticks. I had to be... I had to decide what mood I'm in the mood for. What I'm having for tea? Favourite things to eat. And I don't care how boring it is. I like salads. And I had a Milky Bar yoghurt because I'm a child. Um, just go and do your best, man. It's so stressful. Just try and stay calm and do your best. 193 is awfully good. you know she's right up. These are 612657912. I think she is. I think it takes a lot of perseverance and persistence um, to still be doing it. I'll look. Totes. User, I don't know if you were here the other day, but we discussed, I say the other day, I think it was like last week, that people who use user 409168264179265 is because you're either like a teacher or a lawyer or a nurse or this is your like ghost account and this is, what, do you know what I mean? Like, what's your reason? <laughs> I'm invested. Um, you excited for big night, big night in? Yes, I'm doing big night in on Thursday with Jordan Nobbs. Uh, tickets are £10 from 7 to 8 on Zoom. You do not have to have your camera on. You can have it completely mute. Uh, everyone else will be muted so it's not super overwhelming. And we just get to do an Access Holiday interview, which will be really fun. Um, I'm at the Villa game on Sunday. A week today. Oh my god, my brain. My little brain. Um, uh, I've lost to user 61616161. I don't even know what their answer was. Um, you've asked for merch for your birthday. Oh, thank you. I can't be present on here as I'm a civil servant. Does that mean you're a spy? What does civil servant actually mean? This is coming from someone I have no boundaries. Oh, no, I do have lots of boundaries, but I have no, um, filth? No, what's the word I'm looking for? I have no idea what a civil servant is. I have no qualms in being transparent and telling you that. That's what I was trying to say. I do have boundaries. Um, favourite fruit? Government, but what, but what, what does that mean? What does that mean? The, 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 like, what do you do in the government if you're not the prime minister? What's your job, do you know what I mean? I find it really interesting. Um, you're having a chippy tea? It's a very good dinner. Civil servant, basically, anyone who works for public services. HMRC, DVLA. Hmm, that means you're not a spy. If you were a spy, would you be allowed to tell me? I make sure the country doesn't go bust. <gasps> oh my god, are you the guy with the briefcase? <laughs> the little red briefcase. Maybe it's not red. Black? Maybe it's a no, I think it is a red briefcase. What's that person called? The Chancellor. Are you the Chancellor? You're a woman? Are you the woman Chancellor? Are you the woman Chancellor? Is Chancellor the right word? Who does like the um I, oh, no, I'm not elected. I don't know what that means. Like, what does it mean? I know that you're like this, smiling behind your phone, or you're getting really pissed off, it's one of the two. But I'm like, hi, bestie. Um, I'm, I'm like, what does that mean? I'm really glad that everyone enjoyed sex, but right now we're finding out what a government um, civil servant, something to do with, they've not, she, it's boring. Oh, I bet it's not boring. When your username isn't public, it makes you look like a troll. Oh, I get it, but I also get that like people can't put their, their real names on for jobs. I really, really find this so interesting. I really do. Um, and I'm guessing that you were female because you put, kisses at the end I'm sensing or maybe yeah, that's I should never guess someone's um how they present themselves um I don't want to say the wrong thing um I don't think that makes a difference I and I'm Scottish here we go Six 
one, six, one, two, six, one. But I'm glad you like football. I like football too. She's a Scottish something to... Wait, do you work for the Scottish, the Scottish government? This is my last question. Or do you work for the UK government? Guys, I hope everyone's learning here because I certainly am. You work for the Scottish government? Aye. Oh, that's so interesting. You're the first... It's Nicola Sturgeon. Guys, we have Nicola Sturgeon on the live, everybody. No one panic. In Leith. In Edinburgh, right? Well, in that sort of area. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. Oh, so then maybe your football chat is different to my football chat. Maybe you're like... Are you like Hibs and Hearts? Is that your journey? Is that your derby? I'm not even going to ask you the derby that we're having on our side. We'll just bypass that. We'll talk about English football instead. It's much less political. Um, do you know what? What is probably the big... No, Fife. Well. There we go. I'm glad. God, that's your team. I only... I actually don't know. I, mean, I actually don't know much about women's football in Scotland. I know obviously there's Rangers and Celtic. Celtic just got into the Champions League 16 for the first time ever in their history. Bars and Ruth Rovers. Ah, so what is the biggest derby in English football? Is it Man City, Man United? Is it Arsenal, Tottenham? Is it still that one that the film was based on? Do you know what? I'm actually using these lives to educate myself because... I think it's important. City, United, Arsenal, Chelsea. I thought it was Arsenal, Tottenham. Crystal Palace versus Brighton. Why on earth is those two, those are a derby? Because I don't get it. They're, they're nowhere near each other. Am I good at football? I'm very gifted at lots of things. And football is not one of them. Newcastle, Sunderland. Yeah, I forgot about that. North London, Derby. Yeah, but everyone's now just said, it's not, it's, that's Arsenal, Tottenham, so why are people seeing Arsenal Chelsea? Like, this is my thing, guys. In Scotland, it's very, very obvious who the Derby is, but you guys are all saying different answers. Like, how can the biggest Derby be Arsenal and Chelsea and Arsenal and Tottenham? Merseyside, that's Liverpool, Everton, right? Arsenal Chelsea is just London Derby. Arsenal Spurs is. North London. Hold on, I need to say that sentence again. The comments have gone too fast. So there's a London derby and a North London derby. So there, who's the South London derby then? Oh, okay, thank you. Thanks for clarifying. Well, what's the South London derby? No, we're learning. Everyone who's in theatre, we're talking about football. And do you know what? Sometimes we will talk about other things. There isn't one. Well, that's not fair. West Ham and Millwall. That was on the, the film, right? With Frodo. Okay. In women's football, it's Arsenal versus Chelsea. In men's football, Manchester Derby. Really? I think if you were to say to me what is the biggest when I think about what is the biggest derby in England football, I would think about places. Oh, maybe I would have said Man U versus Man City. Maybe I would have said that. But I feel like twenty years ago there wasn't really a lot of. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know my Man City football history, so I'm not going to say anything that might upset someone who is that. That's why it's famous. <laughs> No, I understand. I know I get it. I just didn't. Charlton versus Crystal Palace is South London. My question is, why is Crystal Palace and Brighton a derby? Because don't derbies have to be kind of need each other? Sheffield United versus Sheffield Wednesday. I actually walked past the Sheffield United football stadium. That's a waterway derby. God, see, you guys have a lot, don't you? You've got so much going on. It can also be the history of the clubs. God, that's an awful lot. Well, I think we can say we've all learned something. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to lie, I'm not 100% sure what I'm taking away from all of this because it's all different answers depending on... Well, you know the, Sc the Scottish answer. The Scottish answer is really, really obvious. Um, 
I'm Scottish, English football just isn't as easy as Scottish. Well, maybe that's maybe that's true. Also, Scotland is very small in comparison. Like there are more people in the whole of London than there is in the whole of Scotland. That's crazy. Um, Celtic Rangers, Sundowns, Swansea, Cardiff. Mm. That's. I'm guessing obviously that's the Welsh one. Oh, sorry. I just meant as in like the main one. Like if you had to have one answer for that, that would be the, like the, that obvious answer. Um. Right. Let's pick another topic. I'm just deciding what topic I'm going to pick. This was a Christmas present. This was a, another gift. But this is essentials. And this is the one that you, you can, I don't, I don't know how else to describe it. Right, user 57123 six, Um, Why have you not got a, what's a real name? Is it because you have a job where you can't do that? Or is it because you just like to not show your real name? Please tell us. Not because I'm singling you out, but we're just having these conversations. Hola. Como estas? Does pineapple belong on pizza? Uh, yeah. And if you say no, I think it's because you just haven't had a good one. A new victim. No. No. Do you know what? I actually, this is my ghost account because I like stalking people's reposts and I don't want them knowing it's me. <laughs> do you know what? I, I commend your honesty. I really do. Do you know what I think is quite crazy? Is when people um, have a really good concept and understanding of motorways. Do you know what I mean? Like, let me just say, when someone's like, oh yeah, yeah, no, I just jumped on the M1, uh, just off the M25 then. You just got the M6 and uh, and then you just pop off at the M8. And I'm like, how do you know that? How do you know? All I know is that the M25 is kind of round of the north of sort of London. And I I have not a clue. But there are some people who just really, really get it. And I'm not one of them. But I find it impressive. Oh, no, I don't mean as in, like, I don't like driving on them. As in just, like... I just find it really impressive that people seem to just know. It's like, I find it impressive that taxi drivers in London have to do an exam to know every single street in London. London is massive. Massive. Yep, I drive. Don't drive so much down here because there's not really a point. Um, but I can drive. Favourite TV to watch right now? I really enjoy the cooking show and now it's off TV, which makes me a bit sad. Um, I watched a confession on Netflix. That was really good. Did you pass your test first time? No. Did you? That's not shade. I actually really commend people, but I was so close. I I I failed on like the last five minutes of my first test. Are I watching Bake Off? No. Maybe I could watch an episode of that with a cup of tea. How many times did you take the test? Three. My dad loves Brassic. I don't know why I don't f want to watch it. I think I don't really like funny things. I don't know why. Maybe that's because I'm dark and twisty inside. Yeah, of course I like Friends. And I love Big Bang Theory. That's what I've got on just now. Not just now because I'm on live, but I was watching Big Bang Theory. Um, where is my gal Mish? Oh, my little mum. Oh, she's a good little egg. She is in Scotland with my family. Um, but, yeah, we chat lots. She did a TikTok live with me once. It was very, very funny. She was very good. She was, but less her, she couldn't, she could not see. I mean, I could barely see, she couldn't see. So I was like, asking her questions. Um, and it's because nothing can compare to your funniest. I know. I know, I know, it's true. Um, oh yeah, my little mum, she's so cute. Everyone calls her Mish as well, so it's just nice. Um, 
they're like pineapple juice. Yeah. Oh my gosh, the comments are so quick. I don't understand how you can see them. Do you like David Hansen? Yeah, I love the score. You're doing the Harry Potter tour? Oh my god, yeah, it's so good. I did it a very long time ago. Um, opinions on technology? I'm not good at it. <laughs> but I think it's great. Best pasta shape? I have quite a, um, like a solid answer to this, and I don't really know how you could have a different answer. Is you know the pasta that has like holes so you can like, not like macaroni but like kind of like macaroni where the sauce and stuff can like fit into why i just don't get why you'd ever choose spaghetti because no i don't want i don't like penny i want it to be like a little like a shell like the shells maybe that sort of vibe like why would you ever choose to have spaghetti because the sauce just falls off it then what's the point Do you know what I mean? Like, that's that's actually really valid logic. So I don't know why... Why you would pick something else that wasn't that. Do you know what I mean? Thank you for agreeing. No, not even tag the telly. The sauce just falls off. And then once you've finished all the pasta, you've got all the sauce and the peas and the chicken and everything else in the, in the bowl. And then you're like, oh, what's the point? Do you know, I, I do like... what um. Papianos. Sophie's good. I saw her this morning. We went and watched um, Alex play football. It was fun. Orzo. Yeah, I like Orzo. I love gnocchi. I like lots of things. I need to stop talking about food because I've just had my dinner and it's going to be hungry. And now I've, now I've got it in my head that I want to have a cup of tea and watch Bake Off. Ugh. Um, you can't stand gnocchi. I'm so sorry for your loss. I think it's great. I think gnocchi's fantastic. Don't you dare be hinting that you're leaving. I actually was going to do that um, and go and have a cup of tea. So I hope you all have a nice evening. And I will... Oh my God, I don't know how to come off of this. That's embarrassing, isn't it? So I'm say bye. Oh my God, my phone's not working. Please, where? Hold the line. Oh my God, it's not working. No, it's working. All right, goodbye.